Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a video that will show you all the Predacite subspecies you can get in Warframe. We will first go over how to get the Predacites and then we will look at some other things you can get for your Predacites. So yeah, let's start. If you want to tame a Predacite, you will need three things. A weakened Predacite, a mutagen and an antigen. You can find the Predacites roaming around the Cambian Drift. These Predacites will usually get into a fight with the local infested and when they get downed, they will get marked and you can pick them up. That is as easy as it gets. If you are having problems and cannot get the weakened Predacite species that you want, my suggestion is to use the conservation trick with which you can find the scat on the ground, follow it to the main area, call the Predacite and at last trank it and put it to sleep. Then you just need to lure the infested close to it so they attack it and then pick it up. Easy peasy. The only thing you really need to watch out for is that you don't get too far away from the Predacite when it's asleep, so it doesn't despawn. Vizier Predacites are easy to get without any pheromone synthesizers, the items that increase the chance of rare animal types in conservation. Pharaoh and Magi types, however, do need the pheromone synthesizers. If you do use the pheromone synthesizer during Womb, you will find a Medjay Predacite, but if you use it during Fast, you will get the Pharaoh Predacite. Yeah, just don't forget to track the animal and let it get down by the infested. It will glow a bit so you know when to pick it up. When you have the weakened Predacite variant you want, you need to bring it back to the Necrolisk and to the Sun. From him you can get the two other ingredients you need, the first one is Mutagen, which will make your Predacite more resistant to specific status types. The second one is an Antigen, which gives your Predacite one polarity slot depending on the Antigen type. You can see all the costs and effects of these items on the screen, it really depends on which ones you choose, but the rule of thumb is, the more expensive it is, the better it is. You need to buy the blueprints for these two ingredients, then craft them and once again bring them back to the sun. When you are there, you need to choose the Predacite Revification option and choose the ingredients of your Predacite Revification process. The mutagen and the antigen change your Predacite's looks and stats, so be sure to look on the wiki if you cannot decide which to choose. When you are done, you can press equip and then build. Boom. You have a Predacite now, but this is not the final version of it. You first need to get it to rank 30 and then bring it back to Sun. You'll be able to guild your Predacite there for 10 Sun tokens and 5000 in Trati standing, but you don't really need to do it if you don't want to. What the guilding will do is basically only allow you to get mastery rank points for the Predacites, that is it. But yeah, let's now go over every single kind of Predacite. As I said numerous times before, there are three kinds of Predacites and we will cover all three of them right now. They all come with one Penjaga mod polarity slot and also one polarity slot you choose with the antigen. We will look at the two mods every single Predacite subspecies comes with, so let us start with the first species of Predacite now, Vizier Predacite. The first mod he comes with is called Acidic Spittle, which will allow your Predacite to spit toxic shite on one enemy in a 30 meter radius every 5 seconds. The spit will blind the enemies it hits for 12 seconds, which means it will make them immobile. The spit will also do a low amount of damage that has the corrosive status effect, so it might remove some armor from the enemies as well for a while if the corrosive status applies. It is great to use against the Grenier. Iatric Mycelium is the other mod for your Vizier Predacite. It gives your Predacite the ability to summon a cloud of spores that will last 5 seconds. If you or your allies go through the trail of spores, you will gain 300 health over a span of 5 seconds, which is great if you are struggling with health. The spore ability can be recast every 8 seconds, but it will usually take more time since it takes some time to cast the ability itself. The second Predacite on the list is the Medjay Predacite. The first mod he comes with is Infectious Bite. It will unlock a finisher attack for your Medjay Predacite, which will deal 200% more damage than a normal attack. After the Predacite finishes with the finisher, the enemy will get covered in 4 volatile pustules, which will increase in size if you damage them. The pustules will blow up after 30 seconds and will deal all the damage, plus they may give the enemy a viral status proc, so it is quite good if you ask me. 
The second mod for the MedJ Predacite is called Paralytic Spores, which gives your Predacite the ability to charge at an enemy up to 30 meters away from it. When he collides with the enemy, he will spawn a cloud of spores in a 16 meter radius that will stun all the enemies in it. During the first 3 seconds, while the enemies are stunned, they will be open to finisher attacks, which is great to use with some of the arcanes or challenges in the game. And yeah, now let's go over the last Predacite we can get, the Pharaoh Predacite. The first mod he comes with is Endoparasitic Vector, which will allow your Pharaoh Predacite to spit a mass of tentacles to one enemy target in a 30 meter radius. The tentacle will slow down the enemy and will deal 20 viral damage per second every 5 seconds. Each time it deals damage, it also guarantees a viral proc, but sometimes you will even get a heat proc for some reason. I don't know why, but it does make this ability a lot better. After it is cast, the ability has an 11 second cooldown, which is not that long at all. It is actually quite common. And I also should talk about the parasite a bit more. It should be pulling enemies up to 5 meters away towards the host enemy, but sadly I could not show it because it might be bugged or something. I don't know. And the second mod for the Pharaoh Predacite Anabolic Pollination, which is such a great mod to have. This mod allows your Predacite to spawn a trail of spores every 16 seconds, which will add up to 100% toxic damage to your attacks. The trail of spores lasts 6 seconds and if you go through it, you will get the effect of it for 5 seconds. It is great if you ask me. That is it about the mods you get from the Predacites, but there is one more mod you can get on all your Predacites. The mod is called Volatile Parasite and what it allows you to do is insanely freaking good if you want crowd control. You can get it from the sun for 20k and Trati standing, which is quite a lot, but it is worth it. Let's see the effects. Your Predacite will spit out a maggot every 15 seconds that will latch on the closest enemy. All other enemies in a 40 meter radius will then attack the enemy with the maggot. After some time, the maggot will explode and will proc viral status effects on all enemies within a 10 meter radius. This will also deal some damage, which is actually negligible, it's almost nothing, but the real thing is freaking viral status effects. Insanely powerful. That is it, before we go I really want you to see something else. You probably will never have to do this, but if you want to, you can regress genetic aging of your predacite. This will turn your Predacite in one of the cutest pets I have ever seen in Warframe. Just look at him! He looks so freaking amazing! <laughs> With this, I thank you for watching. Please tell me down in the comments which Predacite breed is your favorite. I do not have a favorite, but I use all of them if I have problems with some challenges or something else. I know I use Meji Predacite for Nightwave Get Finishers challenge, for example, because I just don't want to deal with this anymore. Just get that done and it's that's it. That's it. I hate that challenge. But yeah, I need to stop ranting now. Please like, comment, share, maybe even subscribe and also have a very nice day. Bye, guys.